everybody. Uh, my next guest has an extensive resume as an actress, comedian, talk show host, and best-selling author. Please welcome back my friend, my girl, Sherry Shepard. That's my family that's hollering the loudest right there. Oh, they loudest people in here. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, ain't no doubt about that. So, you back on daytime with The View. Yeah, I'm the lead contributor. So it's like when somebody gets the sniffles, if Whoopi's not there, because she wasn't there that day, then I come and fill in, which helps because I get to do everything else. I get to do my movies and QVC and write, and uh, so this works being part-time. Okay, now I just sent my youngest kids to college. I you, know. you sent someone. Yes, to school I sent too. my niece Kiana to Norfolk State University in HBCU, and I love Norfolk. They are. I am so excited because this is the first. You know, this is the first. You know, niece to go to college, and she's taking engineering because she's really smart. And I and I took pictures. You know, when you send somebody to college, you take pictures of everything when they get their ID, when they're moving boxes, when they're getting their clothes, when they get. And she was just like, Auntie, I don't want you coming back to the school anymore. <laughs> but I love Norfolk State so much. I think I'm running for homecoming queen. I <laughs> I love the experience, because I didn't get to go to college, so I am coming back. I'm coming back for home, the homecoming show. I'm gonna try it out for the cheerleading team. I'm gonna go. I'm doing everything. I want the whole <laughs> Norfolk yeah. State University experience. <laughs> Look, I got my T-shirt. I'm so excited. <laughs> Shoot. That's good, though. Now, your son Jeffrey, fourth grade? Jeffrey's fourth grade. He is 10 years old, Steve. That's my baby. You know... And if y'all know anything, you know, I love that boy. But he's Man. such a nice guy. How's he doing? You know what, these little girls, they are breaking his heart. He likes one little girl named Julia, and she won't talk to him. And he said, Mommy, I think about her all the time, and my heart hurts. Why does my heart hurt? But she don't treat him right. She, you know, she ignores him. So I hate that I have to teach my son how to be a cold-blooded player, but I said, <laughs> cause you're not gonna break my baby's heart. You're not gonna, mm -mm. I don't play that. Whoa, hey. Yeah. I told him, I said, honey, you got to not say hi to her. You got to ignore her. He said, but mommy, if I like her, why do I ignore her? And I said, I wish all men felt like that, baby. But <laughs> I told him, I said, when you go, you go pick a dandelion and you hand it to Julia. And when she gets it, snatch it back. Just snatch it back. <laughs> He did it all these little girls. Keep, Jeffrey, can I have a kiss? Jeffrey, and I, he says, no, mm-mm. And they just keep running after my baby. And I said, see, that, there you go, baby. There you go, <laughs> the way you do it. Cause you're not gonna hurt my baby. Sure. Six-year-old, think she got my baby's heart. You six-year-old gonna take my baby's heart and destroy it. We're not gonna play that little. Sherry, Sherry. Uh, that's my king right there. I know, but you cannot teach this to your son. This is going to... But they, you know, listen, these little girls listen, be listen manipulative. These You're little five- and six-year-olds, they be manipulating. <laughs> you over here looking at this little sassy five-year-old, little walking around. Sassy I wouldn't five. be surprised she on the pole. You better go on, just go on. <laughs> Don't judge me. Don't judge me, this little girl. What the hell, where you going with like just a five-year-old up on the pole? What uh, you talking uh, about? <laughs> They all on the pole at five years old. It's called the playground. What you talking about? <laughs> now, you play a mom in this upcoming movie called Woodlawn. Tell us yes, a little bit about it. Yes, this is my first dramatic lead in a film. And uh, it is based on the story of Tony Nathan, who played for the Miami Dolphins. And it's about a town in Alabama, Woodlawn High School, two football teams who had a lot of racial tension, and it was really how the entire town came to be healed with the love of Jesus. And so I play Tony Nathan's mother, Mama Nathan, wow. and with uh, John Voight, Nick Bishop, and that's Caleb, um, who's a first time actor, and it was a wonderful, wonderful time. Okay, well, let's take a look at this clip. <laughs> Great game, son, great game. Who is this? Uh, this is Johnny. Hi. Oh, she sure is pretty, Tony. Uh, it's not like that. What church you go to? Oh. No girl better even think about marrying my Tony without being church going. I don't go to church. Well, you gonna go to church with us. 
and I see him, I have to fatten you up. Because I don't know how you think you're going to have my grandbabies with hips like that. Uh, let's just let them be. Yeah, well, a closed mouth don't get fed, Junior. <laughs> After looking at that right there, your boy don't stand a damn chance right now. <laughs> I, I hope I hope your boy don't go to this movie. No, I'm building him up, so I'm gonna tell him, you know, to just if they don't want to take his dandelions, it's okay. He can keep giving yeah. the girl dandelions. All right, Julia, I'm watching you. I just want you to know. All right, let me ask you a personal question. Yes. Are you dating? Am I dating? Oh my gosh, well, everybody knows I'm divorced and I'm out here in the dating field. This is what I don't understand. All the young guys are coming to me, like the 28, 30 year olds. Were you clapping? Girl, I don't want to be a cougar. Because this is what I was gonna, like, the, the, the last, I went out on a date and he wanted to go to a hip hop club. And Steve, I go to sleep when <laughs> hip hop club opens, first of all. <laughs> And I got to the club, and the first thing I looked for, because I'm getting older, was a chair and the, where the bathroom was. That's... <laughs> so, and I'm scared, you know, and th these younger guys, I'm scared to meet their mother, because I'm afraid the mother's going to be like, wasn't we in English class together, yeah, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, it's, you know, dating a younger one, it's just, but that's all that's coming to me. Or they want to, you know, my friends want to introduce me to the old one, broke down one's named Uncle Willie. <laughs> I don't want nobody named Willie. <laughs> Willie is just, I don't, he, he, that's a red flag right there, Willie. Willie. Willie, yeah. It is an age limit to Willie, you know, yeah. we, especially, uh, yeah, I don't, Willie. There ain't no hot, sexy Willies Willie. in, in the... Amos, I don't recommend that women date men with biblical names. Oh, why is that? You know, like Lazarus and... <laughs> Nicodemus. <laughs> You know, I don't really want to be out on a date with somebody who's actually risen from the dead. <laughs> hey. hey, folks, look. On top of all of her other projects, Sherry has a new wig line. Now, up next, she's going to be helping some viewers transform their looks right here. You don't want to miss it. Stay with us. We'll be back. <laughs> 